is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice. Yes. Let us rejoice. Yes. Let us rejoice and Glory. be glad in it. Lord, we thank you for this marvelous yes, opportunity to worship you today. Let the house say, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Wherever you are, somebody say, praise the Lord. Somebody say, praise God. Praise God. Oh, glory to his name. Glory to his name. Hallelujah. Don't sit down yet. Don't sit down yet. Come on, praise the Lord with us. We sing the praises to our king, for he is the king of kings. Sing the praises to our king, for he is the king. We sing the praises to our king, for he is the king of kings. Sing the praises to our king, for he is the king. Give him the glory, for he is the king. Give him the glory, for he is the king. Give him the glory, for he is the king. Give him the glory, for he is the king. We sing the praises to our king, for he is the king of kings. Sing the praises to our king, for he is the king. We sing the praises to our king, for he is the king of kings. Sing the praises to our king, for he is the king. Give him the glory, for he is the king. Give him the glory, for he is the king. Give him the glory, for he is the king. Give him the glory, for he is the king. Oh, King Jesus. Come, Holy Spirit, may we feel your presence today. May it bountifully move within us in this atmosphere and be amongst us. Sweep through this place, Lord. Let your mighty power be felt today and grace. We ask that you have your way today, Lord Jesus, because we come to worship you. We've come to praise you. Have your way in this service today, Heavenly Father. Move through us, in us, and around us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. How great is our God, sing with me, how great is our God, walk and see how great, how great is our God, how great is our God. Sing with me, how great is our God. Oh, 
make us see how great, how great is our God. You're the name above all names. You are worthy of all praise. And my heart will sing how great is our God. How great is our God. Sing with me. How great is our God. Oh, we sing how great, how great is our God. praise. Love lifted me. I was sinking deep in sin, yes. far from the peaceful shore. I was sinking deep in sin, far from the peaceful shore. Very deeply stayed within Sinking to rise no more. But the master of the sea heard my despairing cry. From the waters lifted me, now safe am I.
everybody. Praise Amen. God. Praise the Lord. We, we have another new day that God has given us. And we should be praising him from the depths of our soul. He's been good to us. Very good to us. Amen. Let us entune our hearts now with thy Holy Spirit as we hear God's word. You, God, are my God. Earnestly I seek you. I thirst for you. My whole being longs for you in a dry and parched land where there is no water. I have seen you in the sanctuary and beheld your power and your glory because your love is better than life. My lips will glorify you. I will praise you as long as I live. And in your name, I will lift up my hands. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Father, for your word. Hallelujah. Instill it in our hearts mm -hmm. and help us to apply it to our daily lives. Amen. To me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. So, Lord, here we are. Bow down at the foot of the cross, as humble as we know how, in your presence. We fix our eyes on you, Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. We are here, Lord, before you, scorning and shame. But we sat here today, oh God, down at the foot of the cross, asking you to forgive us, oh God, of our sins, words, thoughts, and deeds by commission and omission. Father, you are our helper. You are our deliverer. You are our healer. So, Father, here we are this morning asking you to forgive us, oh God, of our sins. Yes. Strengthen us, oh God, and, and make us anew in you, oh God. For, Father, you are able, and we know you are able, oh God. Sometimes we get weak, oh God, and don't know which way to turn, Father, but you are able. Some of us are bereaved, oh God. Some of us don't know which way to turn, Father, because there's so many things that are tugging at us, oh God, left and right and up and down. But, Father, you know all about it. So, Father, we take it to you, and we turn it all over to you, oh God, for you are able. You are our all in all, oh God. So, Father, give us peace within touch us oh god we are your servants oh god strengthen us oh god and help us to be more obedient to your word oh god oh father you are able lord add a special blessing upon this worship service this morning open our hearts to receive what thus saith the lord Help us, oh God, to follow your will and let your will be done, oh God. We thank you, Lord, for that. Oh God, bless our pastor. Continue to strengthen him. Give him exactly what you want him to have, oh God. Give him the wisdom, oh God, to continue to lead this flock. 
as he teaches and preaches your word, oh God. Strengthen him as he stands on your promises, oh God. Add a special blessing, oh God, upon each and every person at the sound of my voice, oh God. And touch the sinner man, oh God, who don't know which way to turn this morning. Oh God, we thank you for that. And oh God, when you finish with all of us here upon this earth, Father, we pray, oh God, that we will have a place in heaven with you, oh God. And we will hear your word saying, well done, good and faithful servant, sit down and rest a little while. We thank you, Lord, for that. In the name of Jesus, we ask these blessings, Father. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, and we just give you the honor and the glory. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah to your name, Jesus. Glory, hallelujah to your name, Lord. Oh, we thank you. Oh, we thank you. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Tell you to hold on, hold on, hold on, be strong, so never let go. Hold on, hold on, be strong, never let go. Hold on, hold on, be strong, never let go. Hold on, hold on, be strong, never 
united, 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 we stand together. We united, united, we stand together. We can. Let us bow in prayer. Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. Speak to the inner person. And Father, let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Somebody say amen. 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 Psalm number 63, verses 1 and two. You, God, are my God. Earnestly, somebody say earnestly. earnestly. I seek you. I thirst for you. My whole being belongs to you in a dry and parched land where there is no water. I have seen you in the sanctuary and beheld your power and your glory. I want to talk from this thought. I earnestly seek you. Amen. Now, if you don't intend to do this, don't say it. But if you intend to earnestly seek God, why don't you say it with me? I earnestly seek you. One more time. I earnestly seek you. There was a young father who had his five-year-old son in a department store. Sometimes young fathers don't have a lot of money to buy a lot of things, but he was just looking. Some people call it window shopping, but you're inside looking around. Have you ever been in the store just looking around? Somebody said, nope. <laughs> and, and the young boy was by his father's side and they're looking at different items. Sometimes they're in the toy department, sometimes they're, they were in sporting goods, but they're just looking all through this department store, and somehow the young lad got separated from his father. Boy is one part of the store, dad is on another. Dad is looking for his son, but he couldn't find him. He's calling him by name. The DJ, there's a DJ in, in almost every family. We got one in this church family. Where are you? I, I'm looking for you, but the boy doesn't hear his father. So the father sees a security guard, and he, and he pulls and says, look, man, I, I can't find my son. I, I hope no one has taken him. I, help me find my son. And the security guard calmly says, just calm down, sir. We will help you. Find your son. He, he said, I've been looking. He said, just calm down. We'll help you find your son. So the, first of all, the security officer says, uh, what was the child wearing? He said, well, he's wearing uh, tan pants and a blue top. Okay, now what does he look like? He said, what do you mean what does he look like? <laughs> Well, what does he look like? You know, is he light? Is he dark? He, he says, he looks like me, but smaller. <laughs> said, okay. So he gets on his cell phone, and he calls the head of security. He said, now, we're looking for uh, a five-year-old boy that, that's wearing tan pants and a blue top, uh, an African-American five-year-old. And, and, and they said, he says that we're going to lock the doors. We're not going to let anybody in, and we're not going to let anybody out. Are y'all still here? And now we're going to search diligently for this five-year-old. And then the, the officer told the father, now you come with me. They went in the front of the store. 
up some stairs into a room there, and he could see everything. He said, now, sir, we want you to look with us at all of these monitors. And then you can even see directly uh, on each aisle. And he said, there he is, right there, right there. He said, okay, okay, we, we, we see him. And you see him. He said, now, take this microphone and call your son. He said, DJ, this is daddy. And he says, Daddy, I can hear you, but I can't see, but I can see you. He said, now, now don't you leave. Uh, somebody's going to come and bring you to me. <coughs> Are y'all still here? And all of a sudden, this young security officer went to the boy and brought him to his father. They diligently looked, and they found the boy. Are y'all still here? Somebody say, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Then, 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 then the Bible tells us that, that there are times when we find ourselves in situations where you have lo people lose things. In the scripture, there are several times where people have lost things. Remember the woman who, who had ten silver coins and lost one? Did she sit down and say, oh, it's all right. I just only one. I, I don't worry about that. No, no. The Bible says that she lit a lamp and searched diligently in the house and swept everywhere until she found it. When she found it, she called her friend and she praised God that she had found the lost coin. Come on and rejoice with me, she said, because I found what was lost. Have you ever lost your keys? I lost a set of keys one time. I found them a year later. Right where I left them. I, 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 I couldn't believe that. I, I, bl I blamed Andrew. I said, Andrew must have took my keys. I told his grandma, I said, man, that boy can't come over here no more because he took my keys. I left those keys on a shelf in the garage, and I'm blaming the baby for taking my keys. Have you ever, have you ever lost your, misplaced your cell phone? Then you have somebody call my number. You're looking everywhere. That happened in the house this morning. Someone misplaced their phone this morning. Under a book. You have to call the number to find. But you look for it, you search for it, you do everything you can to find mm -hmm. what you're missing. Y'all yeah. with me? Yeah. When you want something bad enough, you ought to look for it. Yeah. If you don't care about it, no big deal. Just go on about your business to the, to, to the next thing. What the Bible tells us mm -hmm. in this text Oh, God, thou art my God. That's the way King James put it. Early I will seek thee. He says, my soul thirst for thee. My flesh longest for thee. And I'm in a dry and thirsty land where there's no water. Wow. Walters and those under the sound of my voice. This is faith talking. And faith alone. Only faith can talk like this. Are y'all still with me? Because it's, it, because it's God, the eternal one, who transcends the human thinking. You can't think about uh, uh, calling on God if you, God is not in you. You're in a dry and thirsty land. You're in a place where there's no water. You're in a desert place. You're thirsty. But David says, I'm seeking you. You are my God. I earnestly seek you. My, my soul is thirsty for you. That's what he says. God is the creator. He's our redeemer. He is my father and your father. He's the one that, that David was seeking. 
David knew what it was like to be thirsty. He had been hidden in caves in some of the, in some of the driest places on the earth. Are y'all still with me? This is the man that says, my soul thirsts for God. What about you? Does your soul thirst for God? Hmm? You, you know, I hear some people say, man, I'm so hungry. Especially some of them Sundays when the service might be a little longer. The service ain't long like it used to be. But, but you know, when the service gone a little long, people start looking at the watch. They're thinking about that fried chicken or, or, or roast beef. That they're, they're thinking about the, the, the potato salad and the hot, warm cornbread and the collard. They're thinking about all of that instead of having their mind on the word of God. Have you ever been there? David wasn't like that. His mind was on God. Y'all don't hear me. He was seeking God in a way that people may not seek God nowadays. Are you still here? This man says that my soul thirsts for God. Mm. He's in a place where there's no water. He's in a place by himself, he, he's out there, and, he, and he's, he's having problems, but he still has God on his mind. A thirsty man needing a drink, but he'd rather have Jesus than a glass of cool water. Are y'all still here? Isaiah 41, 18 says, this is what God says, because David understood what God could do. So, but the Bible is clear as to how God does these things and what he does. He, Isaiah 41, 18 says, I will open rivers in desolate heights and fountains in the midst of valleys. I will make the wilderness a pool of water. Can you see that? Have you ever been in a wild, a wilderness situation where there's nothing I, I, was in, uh, I was in the desert one time in Arizona, and I'm looking, and I didn't see much of anything. Seen the cactus, dirt, but that wasn't much there when I was looking out there. So, so I, can, I can almost imagine David saying uh, that what the Bible says, the fountains in the midst of valleys, then God says, I will make the wilderness a pool of water and the dry land into springs of water. David said, I see, I see thy power. Every time you look outside, you can see some of God's power. Every time you open your eyes, you can see God's power. David said, I see thy power. In thy sanctuary. How can he see the sanctuary? In a desert land. God must have showed it to him. God shows us things that are not natural, but they're spiritual. But he also somehow tells us that no matter where you are, it can become a sanctuary. Your car can be a sanctuary. Your, 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 a room in your house can become a sanctuary, whether you're in this space or not, wherever God is. Y'all don't like me today, huh? It can become your sanctuary. He says, I see the power and thy glory. So as I have seen thee in thy sanctuary, when you speak, something happens. When, when, when God speaks, things happen. In the time of this world's infancy, when God spoke, stuff just happened. Some people can talk all they want. They can't even get a two-year-old to obey them. God called everything into existence. Are y'all still here? Everything of, of all creation obeys God 
I said, everything in creation obeys God except you humans. <laughs> Y'all don't like me now. <laughs> Are you still here? God, God, God says, sun, come forth, and light come forth. God called the grass and the tree to come forth. Come forth. God, listen, listen. God called the dogs and the cat. Everything came forth just like God told them. And then here come man and woman. And here come disobedience. Here comes sin. Y'all don't like me. Y'all still here? <laughs> Why did God let us get away with this? We say it about certain. We say it about certain people. We won't say it about ourselves, but we'll say it about other people. Why did God let her get away with that? Or why did God let him get away with that? Well, let me tell you why. God has given every person a freedom of choice. Therefore, the Holy Spirit will not possess a person against his will. Why, listen, we want, we want everybody saved. So does God. But God knows that everybody won't be. Everybody has a choice. You got a choice to do right. You got a choice to do wrong. Are y'all still here? And, and, and what, what needs to happen is, we, as a people, must get to a place where we self-surrender. Remember those old cowboy movies? I, I watch them every now and then now. Uh, Matt Dillon and those. And sometimes the shares come up and they, the people come out with their hands up. They surrender. They, don't, they surrender. I, come on out there. You got their hands up. We need to self-surrender without anybody telling us, Lord, here I am. I'm before you. Therefore, th this is a prerequisite for salvation. You, will, you cannot be saved. You cannot be saved unless you surrender to God. Y'all don't like that either. That's strike two. <laughs> Y'all still here? Self-surrender is, is fruit meat. For repentance. It is kneeling at the foot of the cross and crying out, it's me, O oh Lord. Standing in the need of prayer. Or, or you should say, sing like a part of the song, all to Jesus I surrender. All to him I freely give. I will love and trust him and his presence daily give. We gotta surrender to God. In order to receive spiritual power, you must desire it enough to seek God with all your heart. Y'all still with me? Hmm? The Holy Spirit waits. The Holy Spirit waits to be invited. Let me stop here for a minute. Uh, uh, don't, don't get it twisted. Anybody can be in church and feel the presence. You with me? Spirit is moving. No matter what you did two hours before, you can feel the spirit of God. Some people wave their hands, some people jump and shout, but just because you feel the spirit doesn't mean that you feel with the spirit. Are y'all still with me? Y'all really don't like me today. Foul ball. <laughs> y'all still with me? The Holy Spirit waits to be invited. It searches the heart. It searches the heart to see if anything has been ready or been made ready for him to enter in. Once you seek God, and God knows that you're seeking him, you, 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 when, when you're seeking God, you, you, you turn everything down. It's me, oh Lord. I, I, I need you now. I, it, it, the, the old song we sing, it's not my mother, it's not my father, but it's me, oh Lord. It's not my sister, it's not my brother. It's me, oh Lord, that's standing in your need. I, I just don't need prayer now, Lord. I need your power. I can't make it in this world. I'm seeking you with all that is within me. 
So receiving the Holy Spirit is a matter of will. The, the human will must will to will the will of God. You must want God so. You must want God so much that you will seek him at all costs. If it wasn't the carpet here, I could hear the pins dropping. Y'all still here? Huh? Whosoever will, let him come and drink of the water of life freely. Oh, glory to God. If you truly desire and sincerely seek the power of the Holy Ghost, he will come and dwell within you and possesses your entire personality. See, when, when the Lord gets on the inside, things look different on the outside. Look, here's, here's an example. Here's an example. Y'all can relate to this whether you've done it or not. During Lent, I, 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 and it was so difficult, but I was determined not to eat any cupcakes, no ice cream. We only ate meats every other day for one meal a day. We were fasting. And man, them pounds just fell off. I said, man. And matter of fact, I was taking, I had one pill. And the doctor, man, you ain't got to take that no more. It was some cholesterol. But you don't even have to take that no more. Matter of fact, the suit I got on today was one of those that I couldn't wear no more. And I can wear it again because things changed on the inside. Y'all with me? You can talk about it all you want. But until you actually do something, y'all with me? If you truly desire and sincerely seek the power of the Holy Spirit, he will come and dwell within you. The Holy Ghost will come in you. It's with you everywhere. That's how, that, listen, that's how the sanctuary of God is with you everywhere you go because he never leaves you because he's inside of you. The desire for the Holy Spirit must be motivated by your desire to do God's will. This is important. When you're seeking God, what are you seeking him for? Something I don't think God cares about. He cares about you. He don't care who, who won the Super Bowl. He don't care who's going to win the NBA championship. Now, I do, but God, but God don't care nothing about that. He cares about you and me as individuals. Are you still here? So, so the Bible says, seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his ways and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Go on and seek the Lord. Diligently seek him out. Early in the morning, seek the Lord out. We know how people do when, when trouble comes. They call on God. They call on him. And I don't think God minds us calling on him when we're in trouble. But why don't you call on him before you get in trouble? Y'all still here? Someone said to me, man, why do you get up so early? And I said, well, the devil's up. The milkman is up. Though they're still reading newspapers, the papers are already on the corner. So God's man need to be up. Y'all still here? And every child of God need to get up sometime and call on him first. Whatever time that is. All right, watch me now. David sought the Lord at the tabernacle to connect with him in some way with God's power and glory. Significantly, David was not at a tabernacle when he wrote this song or when he sang this song. 
he was in the wilderness of Judah, yet he knew that God's sanctuary was not only a place, but also was a spiritual concept that could be entered by faith no matter where he or you or I may be. Our misery is that we thirst for little things instead of seeking the Lord God. Are y'all still here? The Bible says, because of thy loving kindness, because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. Why are we praising thee? Why, why should we praise thee? Listen, the Bible says so, praise him. But listen, all of us have made some bad choices. Yes. All of us have sinned and fallen short. Yes. And even though we have come into that category of falling short, the Bible says, oh, glory to God, that his loving kindness is better than life. And because I understand that God loves me and that God cares for me, my lips shall praise thee. Oh, are you willing to praise him in advance for the things he's going to do, knowing that you have fallen short? You have made God so many promises. Every human that, that has some kind of spiritual connection or knowledge of God. Lord, as soon as I get through with this, I'm going to do this. They lie, they lie, they lie, or we lie. And But God still blesses. So with your lips, open up your mouth and tell God, I will bless thee. I thank thee. I will glorify thee. As long as I live, I'm going to let you know, Lord, that I love you with all my heart. Do you love the Lord? Are you going to bless his name? Well, tell him as loud as you can, I thank you. I thank you. I praise you. Y'all don't want to bless the Lord, but hey, war, bless the Lord. Hey! Somebody in the back need to bless the Lord. Somebody to my left ought to bless the Lord. Somebody to my right ought to bless the Lord. His loving kindness is better than life. That's what David was trying to say. I'd rather have Jesus in a dry and parched land than a cool drink of water. I'm going to thank you. Because if I have you, I have water. The Bible says he's water in dry places. The Bible tells us that he fed the Israelites in the wilderness with manna from heaven. Y'all don't like me today, but God can do more than you can ask or imagine. So why don't you bless his name? I will bless thee while I yet live. I will lift up my hands and praise him. Why don't you tell God, say, Lord, Lord, I love you. Lord, I praise you. Lord, you've been my rock in the weary land. You've been my shelter from the stormy blast. I praise you. Every time I was down, you lifted me up. Lord, 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 oh Lord, I praise you. I praise you with my lips. I praise you with the clapping of my hands. I praise you with the dancing of my feet. Everything that is within me. I will, I will, I will bless your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey. Glory to God. to you. The stuff that you have really doesn't belong to you. You think I'm kidding? When you go into the land of eternity, your house, your car, your clothes, your money, going to be here. And somebody else going to have it. But if the truth be told, none of that is important. What's important that you have a place to go when you leave here. Now, Jesus has prepared a place for you. It's not a lottery. You can't pay for it. You enter it through faith in him. If you believe that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, if you believe in him, if you trust in him, you won't perish. You will have everlasting life with him. What did he tell the thief? He he said, the thief said, when you enter your kingdom, remember me. The Lord said, brother, today you'll be with me That's right. in paradise. Yes. Yes. Isn't that good yes. news? One thief believed, one didn't. Now, which thief do you want to be like? Hmm? If you're here today, and you have not made that decision, raise your hand, and we can help you and walk you through the steps of eternal life versus eternal damnation. Oh, glory to God. Jesus loves you. He died for you. He rose for you. All you have to do is accept it and believe it. If they're one. 
that want to give their life to Christ. All right. Glory to God. Glory to God. Is anyone in the house that is not a member of a local church? Simply raise your hand. Let me see you. Let me see. All of y'all are church connected people. Glory to God. Y'all not fooling me, are you? All right. Kick it on up. My life is not my own. So you. I give myself, I give myself to you. I give myself away. I give myself away. Give myself away so you can use me. Amen. Mm-hmm. 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 